Good morning. Today is Saturday, April 4th, 2020, and it's about 10 o'clock here in Pasadena, California. And here is the update for this week. First, I hope that you're staying safe with your uh, family. Uh, I do think it is smart to observe the, um, you know, the, the stay-at-home order, even if that's not the case in your state, but that's a personal decision. But I think it's smart, and keep your hands clean and the rest of that um, all valid. So not in any particular order. I'm going to go through my notes here. Uh, first, on the eSports survey, uh, very interesting, almost close to a ha half and half on the yes and no side. I think it's about 60% yes and 40% no. Um, I think that the first one we should take a good look at if we're going to go this way is NASCAR um, because it has a physical presence in the world uh, and, and they already have an eSports setup. And we also know the math behind NASCAR because we had NASCAR on the original platform in Costa Rica. So um, this is a known path for us. Uh, plus, it's a, it's a pretty large audience that's you know currently engaged. So I think NASCAR is a good place to look if we're going to go that way. Um, I don't know about the video, video game side of it and all the rest. Uh, it's, it's a field that I'm not familiar with. But uh, we, we have um, – you can see the results there in, in which – which of the uh, particular video games right now that, that our survey responders think would be a good uh, potential option. But the one that sticks out to me and was actually brought out in one of those surveys was NASCAR specifically. So um, next is SB Tech, which is an um, incestuous relationship between these sports books and their software providers. It's a, it's a platform provider for sports books. Had a multi-day cyber attack. Um, bringing the, the systems down for a lot of sports books. Uh, make of that what you will. Uh, no courts for the next 90 to 120 days. Uh, that's, that's going to stop uh, everything, basically, uh, meaning that no action is going to take place that I can see on anything substantial unless it's an emergency. In fact, if you go through the various orders in the jurisdictions, you'll see that that's exactly what, how they're prioritizing cases. Um, in our case, I, I think it's a hugely positive thing because, um, I mean, it's, we have nothing to worry about in this field. Uh, we're going to proceed with the fundraising um, for leagues, which has now become a, a need, uh, not a greed issue, but a need issue. We're going to follow um, the laws, the, you know, according to according to everything that we've done over the last 15 years and according to the no action. So there's going to be more detailed discussion about that in the working group uh, video conferences. I'm not going to cover that here. It's, uh, it's not appropriate to do that. But the, um, the working group video conferences, uh, which is what we're doing from now on, we're not doing audios, we're doing videos, uh, we're going to be talking about that. And the program members will get copies of those, um, of those detailed conversations. We made application for uh, one of the SBA programs uh, that came out uh, last week or week before last. You can see the um, you can see the confirmation document in the in the document folder. So that uh, we have that application in the pipeline, which is really the important part right now. Um, incredibly, the league simulator that we've been working on for the educational program uh, deliverable came. Uh, just a couple of days ago, which is pretty amazing because uh, simulating the, the big four leagues while they're currently suspended, I mean, the timing there is just incredible. So um, you can see the uh, screenshots from that. We'll also have some additional notes that we'll be sending out to program members. But uh, none of that um, stuff is stopped. And in fact, we've been picked again for another semester to do some other things. So the educational side of the uh, the mission is uh, still still very much alive and, and moving. Um, the sports vote. So 10 years ago, um, I produced this card here. I don't know if you can see it. This was uh, back in, in Texas uh, for the sports vote, and it's just kind of incredible. I, I discovered it going through my uh, materials, you know, doing what a lot of people think I think are doing right now with some spare time is just going through old documents and throwing things out. So it's, it's fascinating that, that this, uh, this is more appropriate now than it's ever been. You know, and this, this was literally produced a decade ago in, in the middle of the first uh, irresponsible government-generated financial crash. So uh, that is pretty interesting, I think. 
Uh, D.C. betting. So there, uh, Washington, D.C., legalized sports betting stalled, and that's extremely important. Not that it's a big market, but it's the federal market. So um, that stalled. So that's a huge messaging uh, point to the entire gambling marketplace. Uh, here is a claim I'm going to make here, uh, and you can just refer to it later. That's why I'm recording it in a video, because it'll live forever. But I believe, based on my analysis of the market, uh, the general job market, financial market, and this is not just here in the U.S., but around the world, um, at least 25% of the jobs that are presently being lost because of the, uh, the coronavirus, um, they're not coming back. They're not coming back ever. And that doesn't mean next week. That means they're not coming back ever. Okay, so uh, just note that I put that on the record here. The 2020 conference um, is closed. We we waited three months for uh, for everybody to complete that. Uh, it's about 550 respondents. So um, and and you're receiving this email, uh, this update because you said that you wanted to participate in that conference. So we're going to be working out the details. On that, it's probably going to be some hybrid, uh, or maybe it may be a Zoom video conference or, or something like that. It, we've got to work out the logistics of that um, scheduling of that meeting. It makes sense to to uh, probably wait another month or two before we hold it because we we have some official business to deal with. That's the point of it um, is to is to do that business. So it doesn't make sense to schedule that meeting until all that business has been configured. Things such as um, these league deals, um, advisor installation, uh, you know, legal advisor installation, the people who uh, were drawn, had their names drawn in, in the previous um, contest that we put up, all that. So uh, it's not, you know, it, the, the whole agenda is not, is not fixed yet. And when the agenda is fixed, then we'll, uh, we'll announce uh, the details, the time and all of that and try to make it as convenient as possible for everybody's uh, schedule. Because we have, of the 500 and... Um, 50, I believe it was, respondents, about half of them said they wanted to attend. So managing a couple hundred uh, people on a live uh, a conference is not an easy thing to do. Um, and, and again, it, we need to make sure that we cover the necessary business uh, in that meeting. So expect that to be, um, you know, the meeting to actually take place. Uh, it looks like based on the, the workflow and what I think is happening in terms of getting a deal in the pipeline, that's really the number one thing is getting a um, uh, getting getting a league financing deal on the pipeline because that will be the trigger for um, uh, external financing, not through the nonprofit, but through actual uh, VCs and such. And that's the point at which we want to do a management change um, away from me to Alper. Now, there to be clear, and I, I'm, I've said this more times than I can count. And I'm going to say it again: the transition of power is from me to Alper or who he designates. Okay. That's it. That's that's the only path that exists. So it's either going to transfer directly to Alper, and that's not out of the question if we are able to to put together a funding package significant enough for him to to be able to do it, because he does have obligations that I don't have. His his costs are higher than mine, and I don't want it to be unfair to him. So the the interim step would have been uh, some or still can be somebody that steps in the middle there and acts as basically as his proxy until he can take the role. And one of those ideas, uh, I mean, Zach was holding that place, and that was always the point was to give it to, you know, Zach would hand it over to Alper. Um, it, it, at Bernie was another potential idea because he's also a public uh, person and, and been affiliated with us for a while. But ultimately that decision about who it's going to be is not mine, it's Alper's. Um, so that's how that's going to work. But that's not the only piece of business. It's a bunch of other things that we need to do, really, uh, installation of official roles, advisors, board of directors, all these things that we've never, um, we've never had um, installed just by default, not by design, just because that's the way it worked out. I've covered the reasons why many times on, on prior um, calls or, or emails and stuff, so I'm not going to cover that here. Um, the gambling folks are talking about weather derivatives and betting on weather. I mean, that's really pathetic, um, frankly. And and the whole weather derivative thing, if they didn't steal that straight out of our materials, then then I would be very surprised. Not an original thought in their heads, apparently. Um, all of our slogans make a lot more sense now. Um, you know, the new sports economy makes a whole lot of sense. Um, 
I did have some pushback at times on well, what you know, what does the new part mean, and is that going to be evergreen? Meaning, is it going to make sense over the long term? Um, I, I think it's pretty clear that we can make the case now uh, for the new sports economy, and that's the whole point of the sports vote. That's the whole point of the sports vote manifesto. That's the whole point of all of that is to make the case for the new sports economy. And I mean, I'm still rocked on my heels by how we find ourselves in a situation where it's a full ground stop on sports, full ground stop on, or a stop on gambling, and just the, the door is completely wide open. And every day that goes by, uh, there's more and more and more pain being experienced by the sports industry. I can see that clearly because I get the uh, news feeds from all these connections um, that are that are coming on LinkedIn. So um, it's definitely the pain is growing without a doubt. So the sports vote makes more sense. That's you know that's this. Uh, do you see that? And uh, it just makes. And if you guys remember this, this is the uh, signature book from the the the, the Hollywood party. So uh, more to come on this later. And, uh, you know, these hats here, you know, make sports great again. I mean, make sports great right now means make sports on, you know, basically. So uh, this, this one, okay, this one makes a lot more sense. Uh, anyway, this is material here. This, I'm going to get to that in a second, but I've signed a few of these. Um, we've got a handful of both of these left here from prior promotions. But make sports great again makes sense. Stop betting, start investing makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah, all this is going to work now. So the LinkedIn network. So as of this writing, um, I have 701 data cards. Uh, that's and in fact, I've included those th that entire spreadsheet of those leads to the program members. They're going to get a copy of that now. Do not spread that around. Do not give that to anybody. All you're going to do is harm your own interest if you do that. But you're going to see just exactly who's responding to, to us in, in my farming operations. Um, 701 leads and 1,488 connections. It's basically more than doubled my, um, my getting close to doubling my LinkedIn audience um, in less than a month. And this is going to continue to run. We're not going to turn it off. Um, so you're going to get a copy of those. Program members will get a copy, and I'll get to what that means at the end. Um, we'll get a copy of those leads so you can you can see for yourself. I also have some snapshots in the folder of the terminal screen where you can see the response rates on various segments. 70-80% um, response rates is astronomically high response rates. So you'll see that as well. Um, I'm getting increasing speed to respond, so people are um, they're they're writing me almost immediately. Uh, when they get the connect request, and I, I expect that will continue to grow because the, the the pain is becoming more and more acute over time. So that's amazing to watch. Talk about showing up at the right place at the right time. Um, so on the sports shares, I'm holding these orders from the last, uh, I guess, about six or eight weeks to wait and see. There's a, there's a lot of flux going on in, in terms of what should be sent out and people are not even wanting packages to be sent to them because they're afraid of it being contaminated in the mail. If you remember the SARS thing and the anthrax, I remember those things from 2000, early 2000s. It's a little bit the same kind of thing going on. So uh, I have them, I have them ready. Um, I prepared all of it, but I put it on hold to wait and see w where we are here. So you will get that stuff, and I also have the list of all the people who are owed currency item uh, uh, albums, but I'm waiting for that to, to cool off, basically. So yeah, our LinkedIn network is basically growing like the coronavirus. I mean, seriously, it's absolutely astounding to watch this thing um, take off like this. I, I didn't see it, the response. I didn't expect anything close to this. Um, so we're going to move, and actually it's already happening. We're moving the legal headquarters from, from D.C. to Los Angeles. Um, the reason it was in D.C. in the first place is not some kind of con job. The reason it was there is we were going to, and anybody that was, has been around since, since Costa Rica knows this is a fact, we were going to locate in Crystal City, Virginia. In fact, that's the reason why um, the company is called Crystal World Holdings. That's the reason it was named that and located it in, in D.C. because we were looking for office space in D.C. and we went there and we scouted locations. And this was a temporary mailbox to receive our mail over there until we moved. And then the 
2008-9 crash happened, and that never happened. But we retain that box and legal address, um, and it just makes, doesn't make any sense to do that anymore. And going through all of the expenses line by line, this is one that I came up on and like, well, what are we really doing this for? So talk to the to the team here, and, and the decision was made to pull that out. So you're going to see all of the um, communication and, and things that say where we are. It's all going to reflect um, uh, L.A. area, Pasadena, and no longer Washington, D.C. That's already underway. Um, I received my first media contact from NBC Sports um, on the 2nd, so that's a couple days ago. Uh, that's not from reaching out to reporters. That's not from any active effort. It was just somebody that was in the lead list that happened to also be a reporter that got picked up in this search, wanting to know what we're up to. Um, I will get to respond to that, but I don't think we want to start up a story right now. We actually talked about that uh, internally, uh, but that may be a more pressing question here when I respond to this guy. He may want to write a story anyway, but we'll see how it goes. Um, once we're ready, I'm going to be, I'm going to reach out to reporters actively through this same tool on LinkedIn and use it to activate the press. But that's not, that's not time for that yet. We, we want to wait until we get some deals in the pipeline. Okay. So New York mobile is dead for 2021. Uh, Cuomo's not going for that. Um, I think Obviously, any mention of something like that right now would be is so misplaced that it's it, it's ridiculous. But you're not going to see it in 2021, so forget it. Uh, it's not in the budget. Uh, that's dead, and I I don't think it's coming back. So Hero Club huddles are every Friday. Um, this is where we have somewhere between 50 and 100 uh, members from all over the world, including um, people that are inside government. Uh, I'm not going to name names here because it's used against me, but a um, lot of discussion about, um, of course, uh, the coronavirus and the impacts, um, including there's a gentleman there from very high level person from the CDC on that call, and we had some very frank conversations. Um, you know, you can do with this information what you want. I'm putting it on the record. It's going to be on here for all time. But the best thinking out there right now, you know, not spin jobs, scientists, um, 120 days minimum to restart uh, sports or, you know, 128 days lockdown if we start doing the right thing right now. So do not expect anything to be anything close to normal in sports or otherwise in the next 120 days. Just look at the Olympics, okay? If you don't believe me, look at the maneuvering of the Olympics, those guys are not going to push schedules. They're not going to do all this stuff unless it's absolutely the right thing to do. And, and they've, they've acquired all the best data in the world. I mean, the Olympics is the largest thing there is. So if these guys say they're not going to have the Olympics until 2021, and there's even some question as whether that's smart, if you track the news, that's where we're at, okay? That's, that's where things are, like it or not. Uh, fake news or not, or whatever you know, information silo you want to tune into, it's just not going to happen. There's there's no negotiation with this virus. It's going to do what it does until the proper scientific processes are put in place. Listen to Bill Gates, okay? Listen to Bill Gates. He sounded the same alarm five years ago. So um, when we stop screwing around and actually lock things down and pay the price of locking things down. Uh, then there's no hope of restarting the clock because the worst thing you can do right now is get on an airplane or move from one place to another. And that until that motion stops, there's no way to isolate uh, uh, sources and stop the trails. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Politics or not, I really don't care who likes or dislikes this information anymore. It's a fact, okay? These are what are called facts, okay, not opinions. So, You'll see it will be that way, and until we do the right thing, the timeline will just continue to stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. There is no way around it. So I'm looking at a maybe uh, I'm going to send this out as a survey to program members here uh, probably in a few days, give a little time to see if you're interested in holding Zoom video conferences like we do with the core team. I've put things out like this before and I didn't get any interest or I asked if people wanted to and they said yes and then I held teleconferences or tried to hold a video conference and nobody showed up. 
So I'm not going to waste time doing that if nobody cares. So I'm going to, you know, I think maybe now they may care more or you guys may care more. But, you know, if, you're not, if you say you're going to show, then show. I mean, I, I have to block out resources and time to do these things. Um, I would be happy to hold a, um, a Zoom video conference with the program members once a week if, in fact, anybody will show up. Because, you know, having all of us brainstorm through, um, because everybody's going to have time, extra time for the coming months. And if you're vested in this enterprise, you know, we can use an army here. <laughs> and in order to coordinate the efforts, um, holding, all the, holding a, a video conference to discuss strategies and get inputs is the smart thing to do. But I can't have any clowns or people that are trying to make, make trouble in that group. If you're not going to be part of this, then stand to the side. And if you don't stand to the side, I'm going to knock you to the side, okay? this is No more distractions, no more lies, no more of that, none of that, okay? People that are in, get in. Let's make this happen. People that are out, get out and stay out, or you're going to be forced out by force, okay? And we have the tools necessary to enforce this. So... Knock it off. If you want to be part of it, be part of it. If you don't want to be part of it, don't be part of it. If you have a stake in it, wait till you get a notice of where your shares are listed for sale. That day is going to come. I know you don't think so, but it will. All right. Um, all right, so NBA, 50% cut. I mean, all right. I think I said on the last call or the call before that I had shaved 50% off of expenses. I've done that pretty much across the board. Actually, more than that on the company side and, and on the personal side, 50%. Uh, I think there's a message here. I um, uh, don't think that they would even put that word out there if they weren't forced to say, look, guys, we can't pay you but half of what we were paying you. Um, yeah, that's a big deal. So uh, take that as, as a bigger message than it may appear. United States Postal Service talking about having to shut. And th this is another reason why I'm not shipping anything right now. There is talk right now that the Postal Service may have to shut in the next couple months. I don't have any memory of any point that's ever happened in the past, even with the anthrax stuff and the, and the SARS stuff. Uh, I think that shows just how dire uh, the circumstances are. And until we get good leadership, uh, in Washington making the right choices, um, these things are just going to continue, okay? We work. Uh, dead dog, I don't understand why it ever got as far as it did. It's a business model that's nothing new. They had a very, um, I guess, charismatic, loud founder guy going out and hyping the people up on stages all over the place, huge crowds, and being paid to do that, um, and, and so they got it off the ground, and, and this guy took a bunch of money for himself and bought air private planes, and I mean, it's just a nightmare. Now they're talking about criminal charges and all this other stuff. So we work is dead. Um, that's the end of it. Now the, the, the snakes will eat each other, which is what happens when you get in business with snakes. Um, stories are starting to come out about gambling being doomed. Don't say that I haven't said that, okay? I've said that a lot of times. Um, gambling is in big trouble. Sports gambling is in big trouble. And just do Google searches on Google News. You don't need, don't believe me, go find it for yourself. We're still getting deposit requests on the pilot market, which really, given the circumstances, um, is, is a shock to me. There are still people who want to put money into the market. We've had it frozen now for about a year. Um, still getting deposit. It's amazing. Okay, so in the back end, um, two things. Uh, production of a video by me, which is going to be the really the only thing I'm going to say to the to the leads because we've set the stage pretty good with the intro part, so they're waiting on my next step. Um, the next step is due on the 15th, which was tax day. It's not tax day anymore. Um, I'm going to respond by saying, here, take a look at this video. That video is going to be self-explanatory, and it's going to drop them into an end card, which feeds them into the league listing system, which the team is working on. And if you look in the, um, if you look in the folder, you're going to see some, uh, some internal working documents where we're collecting information on uh, reporting, uh, because the leagues are going to want to, be able to generate reports inside of the system. That's something that we'll need to build. So um, that wheel is turning in the background very every day. We're, we're, we're making progress on that because we're, I'm working towards the video deadline of the 15th, and they're working towards that deadline of the 15th so we can respond. 
I took a snapshot of the uh, my just as for fun my personal notebook where I take all of these notes uh, that create these calls. It's just a Disney quote, which I totally believe to be true. Um, this is a big global reset button, okay? Uh, I, I've been on a number of video conferences this week where people are still, and I know some of this is because of their politics. Uh, look, they're trying to jawbone this thing away. It's not going to happen, okay? You're not going to jawbone this thing away. They're trying to be, un, uh, you know, oh, it's going to pay. No, look, in unemployment rate, next time they post the numbers is going to be a double digits, okay? And it's going to be, um, it's going to be some, if they're not reporting 25%, they're lying, okay? It's the bottom line, at least 25%. Um, that's what's going to happen. This is a big global reset button on many, 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 many levels. Things are not going to return to the way they were. They're not going to return to the way they were. It's going to be something else. So if you're longing for the good old days of before the crash, forget it. It's, it's not going to be the case. Um, okay, so we have, as I said, we brought all the expenses down really, really. We've tightened everything up quite a bit. Um, we're using GoFundMe to, to uh, GoFundMe charity, which we qualified for th three months ago or so. I just activated it. That's how we're, um, we're funding the, the budget that we have, you know, budget needs. I continue to update that um, progress and toward the goal, and then I reset it when, when I have other expenses in front of me, and I'll continue to do that. I report the results, income versus expenses, to the program members. Uh, so people that, that are participating, they know the inflows and outflows. So we're not hiding anything. One, all the dollars are accounted for, what they're used for and why. Okay, so if you want to help us and you want to support this, uh, we are a fully 501c3 educational and economic development nonprofit. Um, if you contribute at least $25 uh, to, to this, because this is what we have now, this is the program, okay? So if you contribute just $25 and just once, okay, then uh, I'll, I'll get you on the list uh, to receive these updates of, of the expenses and also the interim reporting and things that we that I learned from these various video conferences that I think will be beneficial to you in your business and personal lives. Um, and you'll also get, I'll put you on the, uh, the list for the pre-release pre copy of the Sports, Bo Sports Vote Manifesto. I'll, um, you know, the first working draft of that as soon as I have it. And then the July 4th release, you'll get a, a copy of it for free. Um, I'll do that. Uh, again, the release date being the 24, I'm sorry, July 4, 2020. And if you contribute at least $50 at least once, I'll, I'll include the, the copy of the manifesto. Of course, this assumes being able to ship things in the mail, obviously. And um, one, or, one of these, I only have a few of these left. Um, it'll be one or the other and, and signed and, and authenticated on the back. So... Uh, and that's $50. Yeah, it'll be one or the other, first come, first serve. So in closing, um, just a few remarks here, and I, I've been very clear about this as well over the months, that needs get done, okay? You can't always count on greed or, or accessory items, which ASM was kind of considered that, I think, to a lot of people that were looking at it. Um, of course, you had the gambling march, you know, which was competition. That's not there. Um, it's turned into need now. The, you know, and I said a rescue operation is what we needed. You know, <clears throat> that's why I was looking at the uh, Arena Football League. You know, a rescue, very clear. I said that over and over and over again. A rescue operation is the absolute best possible case for us. Um, now the entire sports world needs a rescue operation. And I learned from the VCs on the, on the call yesterday that nobody's getting any funding from the capital markets. The capital markets are frozen right now. There is money on the sidelines, but nobody has access to it right now. Um, you couldn't sell, unless you're in the medical field, um, you probably get it there, but everywhere else, forget it. Um, the, 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 the consensus is don't even try, okay? Don't try to access the capital markets right now for uh, direct investment. It's gonna be uh, just about impossible, again, unless you're directly connected to the medical field and you can show purpose 
uh, and some kind of footprint in the, in the present crisis. So that's okay. We don't go that way. We use the nonprofit to, to get the first order in the queue, and, and that's, you know, one, the, 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 the order book proceeds capital investment. So the order book, I mean, look at the way it wor it's working right now. We need to get people who need financing. Well, nobody's getting any league financing. I mean, XFL's dead. You can be sure of that. I'd be lucky if any of these marginal leagues survive. Um, so that's not happening. So it becomes um, order book, right? So we show orders, which is the whole march that we're on to, to build the order book, which I'm explaining in this, in this video. And then um, that, that will take care. That's a self-solving problem. Once we get that and we get press on this, um, the, the investor side will come. And in fact, I can reach right back into the existing networks that I have and make our case uh, for, for uh, permanent financing, or not permanent financing, but the next real capital investment, real capital investment from the outside. Um, but now is not the time. Don't even try it. Don't, I mean, that's um, all the VCs that I know and, and have known for about a year and a half, two years now are like, forget it. You know, just sharpen your pencils, get all your materials weight and unless you're in medical don't you're 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 going to burn your leads if you try to go out and get get any money from anybody it's it's there but it's not ready to be released to anything okay so that's that and look i'm going to make this claim and it's a big claim but i'm telling you I, if i didn't believe it 100 percent, i wouldn't put it out here to be visible to the world for all time we are not might be we are the rescue operation for the sports industry. All we have to do now is prove a couple of cases. I, you know, with 700 leads and growing, I've been doing internet and, and, and offline marketing for 25 years, half my life. Um, this is going to pay. This, 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 is going, this system is going to generate orders for us. Um, there is zero doubt. Uh, because it's growing the, the top level leads every day. Those leads will sift down, go through our system of vetting, and there will be orders that will come out the other side. And when we start publicizing those orders, which I can use the same tool that I'm using right now to go back into the, to the LinkedIn uh, universe and market to the media, once we start telling those stories, we're going to be front page news. Okay? And when that happens the dam will break. And so right now, kind of quietly in the background, collecting all this information, um, building the order book. Now, you know, the press, I don't have any control over the press. The NBC guy might decide that there's a story here and he runs it all on his own. So I do need to respond to him and I will, but I, we talked about whether we wanted to activate the press right now. I don't think that's optimal, but if it happens, it'll be okay. If they take it off on their own, then okay. But um, that's, that's, the, that's the path here. And then once that press machine starts rolling, the rules of the press are once they talk to you, they'll talk to you again. So Zach did Squawk Box, sat in front of Joe Kernan. That's top of the mountain. It doesn't get any higher than that. So we, he can get back in front of Joe Kernan or somebody else connected to ASM can get back in front of Joe Kernan when we have a story. And if we have a, you know, hey, we are the rescue operation for the sports industry, if that's our story, that's going to get it put back in the seat. So that's where we are. This is an extraordinary opportunity for us. I don't like that it is based on this crisis, okay? I didn't pray for this. I didn't ask for this. I never could have imagined this would have happened. Uh, the sports world shutting down and, and as a result of that clobbering the gambling people, I could have never seen that coming. I mean, not in my wildest imaginations, but the reality of it is that it has put us in a moment that, I mean, there's nobody on the field. There's nobody, there's no competition. If there's competition, tell me who it is. Who is the competition? And then, I mean... <laughs> There's no competition and there's nobody to do the job either. Who else? What other mechanism is out there to rescue the sports world? Nothing. Not only just financial uh, capital, but also engagement, right? Both parts. So that's where we are. Um, I am very excited along with the rest of the team. This is, this is real. This is no joke. 
And again, if you feel like, you know, I know everybody's working their finances, um, I'm, everybody's doing the same thing, you know, but if you got 25 or $50, you can give us a hand. Um, tax deductible for U.S. persons and entities, you know, this is what we're doing, okay? I'm not making a demand. I'm saying if you see all this and this is something that you want to support, then please do. Um, you know, I see people donating all over the place for COVID stuff that, frankly, guys, be careful. The, the scam things ex absolutely explode in, in these kinds of situations. I mean, if you look back over every one of these um, hurricane crises, you know, in the post-mortem, there are, I would say, more than half of these charity things are scams, okay? You're just trying to help, and you're not helping. You're just giving that money to somebody that's going to waste it. Unfortunately, that's how it works. In our case, I'm showing you exactly what's happening, and I'm going to report to, to the program people dollar for dollar. We are a public reporting entity. We can't make lies about these things, okay? So anyway, that's that. If you think that this is all worthwhile, then please give us a hand. Um, you know, to keep it going because just like everything else, we got to keep the lights on. Um, I'm doing everything. I've been through this training before, five years ago, uh, actually ten years ago, in, in the the last time bad government policy caused an economic disaster. Um, you know, we I had five years of training for this, so I know how to crunch everything down to the absolute, absolute, absolute minimum stuff. So, but you know, let's let's <laughs> let's get this. Uh, league fundraise order order queue filled up and and get get some funding stories out there and then the dam will break it will break so thank you please stay safe most importantly uh, bigger than the economy bigger look an economy is made up of people if you don't have people you don't have an economy don't put it the other way around so stay safe um, you know whatever comes out the other side human beings are very resilient creatures uh, we'll we'll figure it out but uh, right now, health policy is primary, not, not monetary policy. So with that, have a nice uh, weekend. Enjoy your time. Try not to waste it. That's my advice. You're being a, given a gift here of, of extra time to do stuff you're probably not going to see again in a very long time. Bye now.